You're watching the Coach McFerrin TV show. Coach, anytime you put together a coaching staff, you'd like to have familiarity, people you're comfortable with and trust. Amy Stevens is one of those coaches. Absolutely. As, as you know, Amy was with us a time before, about four years ago. Just, did just an amazing job. Loved her energy. Loved the way she dealt with the players. But she had a chance to go home to her alma mater, so you can't really say no to that. But boy, when she, uh, it was when I lost two coaches late in the spring, which I didn't expect, um, and they didn't expect really, they just had opportunities. Um, first person I called was Amy, and it really wasn't about the job. Mm -hmm. But um, later that night, she sends me a text and she says, Coach, I'll come back. So I said, let's do it. And made for a really easy transition. Love having Amy Stevens on our staff. Dave Ocean sits down with Amy Stevens. We are joined by Amy Stevens, who tells me it's very simple. All I got to say is she's a woman who's been around the block. <laughs> you started off as a head coach and sort of took a different route. How, how does that happen? Well, luck, a little bit of luck and um, being in the right place at the right time. And uh, I was an assistant coach at Iowa State. And uh, I think four or five coaches turned down the job at Nebraska Kearney. And as a 25-year-old, I ended up the head coach at Nebraska Kearney, which is a Division II school. And, and then that just kind of took, took my head coaching career to Drake University uh, for nine years. And then... You know, I just needed a break and found myself at the University of Memphis as an assistant coach under Coach McFerrin. And um, so I've really just enjoyed the role of an assistant coach and the relationships you can have with the players. And um, and I've been able to find my niche uh, because I've been a head coach that to be able to advise and um, I understand what a head coach goes through uh, from a lot of different angles. The relationships with the players, I find that interesting. <laughs> Seriously, because as a head coach, you do, you're the CEO. Mm -hmm. Can you be closer to the players as an assistant? Oh, ab absolutely, because my role is really to be positive, to be upbeat, to bring energy, um, to be the liaison at moments of interpretation of what the head coach is trying to do when players don't understand or they disagree or maybe they're having something going on in their life, and so we've got to keep them focused on the task at hand. And so a lot, a lot of times for players, I think it's easier to go to an assistant than is the head coach. This is your second stint at Memphis, and I know you, you left to go back home to Nebraska. Right. She was an All-American at Nebraska, ladies and gentlemen. But what brought you back here again? Well, two things really brought me back. One is Coach McFerrin. I absolutely loved working for her, and I would have probably still been at Memphis had I not had my alma mater call me about a job. Um, I love her integrity. Um, she's great with the players. Um, she has a clear vision for the program, and and um, I consider her, having been in the game almost 30 years, uh, one of the good guys mm -hmm. um, of women's basketball. And I'm really proud to be associated with her um, because of her character. And then the second reason is the University of Memphis. Um, it's a basketball um, school, obviously, with men's basketball, uh, with the Grizzlies. It's a basketball city. Um, and uh, it's just, uh, it's a top-notch school. So um, it's an easy sell when you get into um, dealing with recruiting and parents. And, you know, I'm the type of person that if I believe in what uh, is going on at the University of Memphis, it's a lot easier for me to be passionate about what we can offer young women. And finally, I know you're the point guard coach. Tell me about the young ladies you have. Well, we have uh, three players that potentially could play the point for us. Uh, first is Taylor Barnes, who's a junior this year. Um, and then we have Jazz Hernan, who is a junior college transfer, new and learning the system. And then Jamira Schutz is the other point guard that works with us. And Jamira is a little more of a combo guard, so she'll play the two and then rotate in at the point position. So those are the three point guards that we have. And um, um, you know, what's exciting is there's no seniors in that group, and you've got two newcomers with Jamira and, and Jazz. So, um, and then Taylor, really, from last year to this year, she's a junior, but it's her sophomore year playing the point. So, um, it's exciting because I think when you have players that um, have one or two years under their belt, there's still a lot of growth for improvement, and, um, and that's exciting.
That is the associate head coach for Memphis, Amy Stevens. Good coach, uh, even better person, great person. Uh, first of all, an incredible basketball coach. That's the first thing you have to say. Incredible teacher, analyzes games, great scouts. The other thing I love about her is the relationships, and she talked about it, that she creates with our players. Very trusting relationships with Jazz, TB, and Jamira. And I think because of that, she, she's for the players. And because of that, I think they really trust her and trust her knowledge of the game and communicate really well with her. Great addition to our staff. Well, we'll rejoin Dave Lotion when we come back. He'll sit down with Jasmine James when we return.